Golf has always been a game for the rich, a gentleman's sport. But through growing popularity, they'll let anyone play nowadays. And not everybody has a high budget. So I went to Amazon and found the cheapest golf balls that I could actually hit and thought I'd give them a try. No skeptical launch monitor data, just my opinion and my experience. Should be fun. So first up, cost. Five British sterling. Okay, that felt like I hit a brick. So it does claim to be a three-layered golf ball, which means it should be pretty soft. So off the tee, not so great. Let's, let's give it another chance. That was nipped and it's not looking good for the feel. A lot of people forget to buy a ball through how it feels off the face of a putter. Not that bad. Part to start. So here we've got 50 yards, little pitch shot. Let's see how much grab we can actually get out of the ball. So I flew them to the pin as close as I possibly could and they didn't really have that grab, especially on that second bounce. I was waiting for it to bounce, skip and stop. Just didn't get it. Some of them had that little bit of a release, but some people like that. Not so much me. So now let's take it to 100 yards, up and over this tree, get a bit more height on it and see if we can get it to stop quick. From 100 yards, full wedge, you'd be expecting this to stop pretty quick. It took a few, I'm not a pro, but usually I do get that first bit of stoppage at least on the first or second bounce. That still had that little bit of release after the second bounce and I don't like that, especially from 100 yards with a full wedge. So we find ourselves in the bunker. This is one thing that usually the amateurs get away with is that extra bit of release because they don't obviously fly it towards the pin like the pros. So even if I do get a bit of release on this, I'm not too bothered. What I will be looking out for though is how it holds up in the sand. Pretty much exactly what I just said. Flew it, got that little bit of roll out because obviously nine times out of 10 as amateurs, we leave it short and we're looking for that extra bit of run out. So with these balls, I really don't mind. So now I want to test it out of the rough. The pin over there, there's only one shot for it. No, it's not a chip and run. That will not test anything. It's a Floppadopolis. Make me laugh these golf ball videos because they always do it from the rough, but from the rough, you're always gonna get released. So I'm not really sure what they're testing, but that was a big flop. Landed and still got about 10 yards of run. Again, I don't actually mind that. Even the pros with the Pro V1s and the best wedges and the best grass, they struggle to get it to stop. So just remember, you're not a pro. That was nuked. So I've absolutely mullered that, split the fairway, absolutely no qualms with the distance. It is boomed. <laughs> So I've been using the correct yardages all day and I had absolutely no issues. So they're going the right distance. So 
So I think what I'm trying to get at here is you don't need to spend a lot of money on golf balls to play the game. You can get away with using the cheap golf balls. Five pound for three golf balls is extremely cheap nowadays. So don't get sucked into the fact that you need Pro V1s. These will do the job. I've played with these for 18 and played pretty decent golf. And will I buy them again? No, because they don't really match what I'm actually looking for. I prefer a softer feel, especially off like the irons and the putter. But if you're just starting out, not a bad golf ball. Now there's only one thing left to do. Open these bad boys up in true Rick Shields fashion. Well, would you look at that? It's a golf ball. <laughs>